Hi, I'm Heimberg. Good to have you back. In this video, I want to try out an idea I just had yesterday. Now, every time I make a tape loop, the tape is always continuous. So, unless I make the sounds that I do have gaps, the sound will always be continuous. And there will always be the glue of tapers to put it all together. So, now I was thinking, what if I work with rhythms? And don't play the rhythms, but let the tape decide the rhythm. Basically, have an automatic rhythm generator from the tape. And how can I do this? I've got leader tape. Leader tape is blank tape. There's no magnetic material on here that would rub off, as you could see in my last video. It's just blank. So if I mix that with magnetic tape, I might be able to get a loop that will get its own rhythm whatever I play on it. So, how do we start? First, I'm going to take this tape. I will just do the length of the wagon that this Telefunken M15 is housed in. Just a tiny bit of a mark. And to cut, I'm gonna try this new splicing block I got. I mean, I have one here, so I might switch between the two, whatever I find I like more. Now I got the question, why do I cut this way uh, before, when I'm using this? Because when you cut this way, there's always only a little part of the tape that's running over the head where the cut is. So you won't get a noticeable bump, like you get with many tape loops. This is the all the audio material that will be on there. So now we need to splice in the leader tape. And now I have to decide on a rhythm. Do I want it to be simple straight notes? Maybe that could be interesting. So maybe let's call this one pulses and stick to the same rhythm unless I decide otherwise while I'm doing it. I will be going at 19 centimeters per second. So if I've got 19 centimeters, this will be one second. If I go to 9.5, this will be half a second. Uh -huh. I'll have to do some maths. 17 durch 2. Okay. I've decided on 8.5 because that will be um, eight cuts. Done with the little stuff. So now it's time to splice all these together. I'm thinking I'm gonna use this block because the tape will hold in there automatically. Like this. Huh! Won't fall off. Amazing. So. Oh, this will look so colorful. <laughs> I like it already.
This little beautiful snake is the rhythm loop. And now we're gonna try it out. So now let's set the loop up. I'm gonna use this bottle of non-alcoholic beer. So let's try and record. Let's go for high speed because we want to slow it down. And now I am excited. Okay. <laughs> that was not so great playing, but we'll see how it sounds. I guess now. It works. I got an automatic rhythm on the kalimba. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Okay, this is how you make rhythm loops. Pitch it down, of course. Oh. No, no delay. Go lowest speed. Oh, that's a lovely sound. And playback! Good old Hopi One here. And I think I could record the OP1 on one of the destruction loops that I did last time and see how that would sound. Probably very messed up, but I think it will be fun. And if it's fun, it's worth trying.
It worked. <laughs> it really worked. I'm super happy. I mean, this is a crazy beautiful setup. And now I probably would love to make a few of these rhythm loops because it gives so much variation to have all these little cuts. And of course, you can vary the length and there's basically unlimited possibilities for rhythms. And thinking about how I could use them with many more machines is a lot of fun. I just need more time than one night to do all that. But I enjoyed the piece that came out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this process. Um, it's For me, it's one of the best things to just experiment and try out new stuff and then something comes up and I've learned something and yeah, I've made a piece of music that I can enjoy. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any more questions, do leave them in the comments below. I do read them all. And also I've got the Discord where you can chat or the subreddit if you've got more technical questions. That's the perfect place to put them. So see you in the next one. Bye.